Let's see if we can't do something about my boredom. All right, here we are again, <laughs> re-motivated, rejuvenated. Nothing's going to break our stride, boys. Just going to run to the end of the game, uh, become the Elden Lord. We'll all set back, share a few laughs, and that'll be the end of the game. Now, I thought there was a giant down here that shot arrows at you. I must have made it up inside my mind. At least I'm wrong about enemy placement inside my mind. So this is one of them great lifts, I believe. I bet this ghost will have something to say about it. He looks like the kind of dead fella that knows about a lift. Oh no, he doesn't even... The lift's too mainstream for this guy. He's all about secret tunnels. They're the mom's minivan of getting to the Erd Tree son. Much less conformist than the bus. I thought they said grand lift of dreams. So if we had both halves... Of the Delus, Deus, yeah, Dectus. So this is the one we found half of in the top of Fort McDouchebag. And I actually know where the other half is. Spoilers, it's in the Bloodborne region of the map over here. So we're not going to worry about it right this second. Also, I thought for sure I just accidentally killed myself by mashing the circle button. And I'd already begun writing... The grand manifesto in my mind on how it was he and Takamiyasaki's fault. So, I'm telling you, my, my synapses in my brain have become so accustomed to immediately launching into some made up nonsense about Miyazaki and his personal crusade against my happiness. It's like an addiction. I notice this real unpleasant and foggy and rainy out here all of a sudden. I don't care for it. I honestly didn't know how far the drop that was going to be for a second. All right, what are we doing? We do want to visit the Village of Madness. So keep that marked. So if you're going to be traveling through this area, there's no reason not to partake in the Village of Madness. Or Frenzy, as they call it around here. So if you just try to ride up here to get to it and having a good time, son... Whistling a tune to yourself, like in The Lord of the Rings and or The Hobbit. Uh, that fucking thing, that Eye of Sauron nonsense appears. You'll notice the Frenzy Rats as well. So here's the thing. Sort of like uh, Bloodborne. If the longer we're in the sight of that damn thing, the faster our Frenzy Bar builds up. And unlike our Frenzy Bar when we're spewing out lasers from our eyes, if that one fills up, we basically die. So... They intended for you to, like, American Gladiators your ass up here. Because the actual tower... I want to say it's over here. But, yeah. There's actually an easier way. There's got to be a better way. Has this ever happened to you? And cue to a guy screaming and holding his head as he hemorrhages mad. Oh, we haven't even gone through here yet. we got a lot of shit to do. What the hell have I been up to? I've been wasting y'all's time is what I've been doing. Y'all deserve better. Y'all deserve to be spoiled. Perhaps even rotten. So between the all of you, I bet enough vegetables have been eaten. The vegetables threshold has been passed. It's like uh, one of them ARGs. What was the one where there was like a big cube and everybody could hack away at like part of it? I feel like it had something to do with Fez, which means I don't want to think about it. Alright, try not to fall to your death, but only if you can help it. We picked the foggiest, dreariest day to be adventuring. So if I remember correctly, if you go straight down here, there's a uh, melee taking place. 
Am I thinking of the right area? Let's see here. I think we might have killed a big crab around here one time. Lord of mercy, this... Okay, yeah. Oh, God, it's one of our favorite enemies. If there was some way to get him over here, maybe I could redeem myself from the ending of the last video. Hey, jackass. Oh, no. <laughs> Did somebody shoot you in your eye? What a tragedy. Let's see what his pathfinding does. Yeah, come over here, buddy. You're going to shoot a fireball. Oh! Oh, they just like Doom. The auto-aim didn't all correct it towards me. I just need you to be somewhere thereabouts. <laughs> He's so slowly panning towards me. Okay. Is this one going to get me? Look, look, if you just came right there, I bet you'd kill me. No, joy is dead, love is dead. I thought for sure I was over this. He's going to spin around and somehow not fall down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know the number. We all know the song and dance, Miyazaki. No, I won't be part of it anymore. You crowd deserve better than that. Son, I need to humble myself before you. And provide good video game. I can't open my map because that thing's still mad at me. Or I'm still mad at him. Alright, we got some of the fire mucks. Okay, this is a whole different area that I wasn't planning on dealing with right this second. But since we're here, we might as well bully some of this crowd. <laughs> Too late! Your friends have been air juggled, son. You'd think Dante came through here. Now I'm feeling motivated. Okay, we need to let our stamina recover so I can properly bully this man. Remember, if you're going to be outside bullying the weak, you know, you got to maintain your stamina. So I'm keep a hydrated, keep a cereal bar or a granola bar on you in case you need a few burst calories. I still haven't properly put a better uh, blade enchantment on the <laughs> my spell bar, I realized. But I want to bully this guy with the darkness flame. Hey guy, why don't you do a real slow slam attack while I PA up my sword here. Yusuke Urameshi won't know I fucking hit him, boys. And Kuwabara, my god. You will be struck by like It's already wore off. I'm not even done killing him. Is this one of those ones you're supposed to cast like mid-combo? I mean, it's kind of fast, I guess. What about the Blood Blade Slash? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I forgot you were allowed to hit me. A Blood Blade Slash and an additional... I want so badly for this fucking... How does he move so quick? Does Miyazaki know not, not know what the square cube law is? Miyazaki's like, do you know what the square cube law is? I'm like, oh, well, I know enough about it to know that you're violating it. <laughs> and that makes me the hero. So many people have died in here. Come on, you had the turtle shield and a katana sword. What could have stopped you? Well, he couldn't roll through whatever it was. It's interesting. Try hole. Whew, I really don't want to. There is a side of grace down there. Yeah, we might as well activate it. This is a whole subterranean region down here. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and clear it since we're already here. I see you crowd looking at me like a dog who thought I said go for a ride and is now standing by the door with hope in their heart. Boys, if your dog is looking at you with hope in your heart, how are you going to deny them? You can't do it. You'd have to be a monster. You'd have to toss away your humanity. Only Dio Brando can deny his dog when he's looking at him with such anticipation. All right, let's rethink our spells. We got a new spell slot, too. So take you off. These are staples. Blessings Boon is nice because I don't... I take, like, five blue and three red. I've been real blue heavy here lately, son. You can tell I've been replaying Dinosaur Planet and Star Fox Assault because I've got blue on my Eiffel 65. The Vampire from the Earth Cave. You all are familiar with it. Are we ready to unleash our bonk? I know we're saving that for the big boss. I want lightning on my sword. I don't remember if anything down here can poison you. I don't think it can. 
We should take some sort of fireball with us. Maybe dragon fire. Of course, we could have dragon tail. Son. Yeah. I feel like I could use some good dragon tail. Not to be confused with dragoon tail. Alright, so here's the thing about this place. There are ants. Just like that softcore skin of Max <laughs> porno film, or whatever you want to call it, that Tommy loves to reference. Are y'all familiar with that? He probably talked about it in 10 Infinity Zombies Ate My Neighbors. But back in the day, my friend Tommy, the everyone's favorite Tenfei character, uh, regaled me with tales of his parents had obtained a black box that you could attach to your television that let you get the good cable channels. Son, I hope I'm not indicting Tommy and his family too hard, son. But he was telling me how, like, late at night when they were asleep, he would sneak out to the living room and unhook the thing from the living room TV and take it back to his bedroom so that he could watch, you know, Cinemax and see some things that a boy, <laughs> a teenage boy, might not normally get to see otherwise. But there was this one particular film, we'll call it, about a, uh, like, detective. I've never seen it, and we've never been able to find it on the internet, because me and him have looked for it, so that we could verify this member. So this isn't the Berenstein Bears of Skinamax. But, oh, I knew that ant was up there, because I've already done this place on my other character. So don't be surprised if I'm real good at it, navigating it. But anyway, it's like this uh, rich old man in a mansion dies, and, of course, all of his, like, staff are suspect. And spoilers, all of his staff are hot ladies. And so this private eye comes there to investigate. And by investigate, I mean insert his dick in various <laughs> openings. But anyway, apparently the, the man had, like, a son who was not all there in the head. And he was constantly going around with one of those, you know, those old-timey bug sp uh, sprayers that you see in, like, Looney Tunes where it's, like, just this like a caulking gun with a drum on it that you pump the handle of and you spray. Uh, if you've seen me play the Resident Evil remake uh, of Resident Evil 1, you use one to kill the hornets in uh, the guardhouse. Well, anyway, the, the, the secret twist of the movie, if you want, don't want to be spoiled, skip ahead, uh, is that he died, the old man died because his son was going around spraying everything with that thing. He would spray it and just go, ants, according to Tommy. Because I guess either there were a lot of ants infested in the place or he just saw them in his mind. And that's the, the twist. The M. Night Shyamalan twist that somehow stuck with Tommy all these years. It's kind of like the guy that made Earthbound when he walked in on that wrong movie. And it's the reason the guy gets fight at the end of Earthbound is so fucked up. That's Tommy's equivalent. If he made a quirky JRPG, the final boss would involve ants. I guarantee... If you've never watched Tenfinity Zombies Ate My Neighbors, that's an old Tenfei video. And I probably won't remember to link it for you, so just go look it up yourself. You'll probably, when we do any of the ant-based levels, I guarantee we're talking about it, son. I didn't expect to go on that rant, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I could share that with y'all. If you're watching this in the distant future when me and Tommy no longer exist... I hope you know. I hope you carry on that legacy. Well, there ain't nothing back here but heartbreak. The plump sort. Oh no, this poor uh, uh, Batman. Why are there ants behind me? I killed everything. Jesus, it was like super punch out right then. They were transparent as we beat them to death. Additional ants in rear, I see. Pop. Ants hate lightning spears. It's a universal fact. What do ants like? Sugary sweets that have been left to their own devices. I've never seen the movie Ants or A Bug's Life. Are they any good? Okay, I'm clicking because I'm hoping there are more ants. Well, this is just like a big pile of viscera. It's like somebody did a Mortal Kombat 3 fatality. Because when you, when you hit someone with a Mortal Kombat 3 fatality, like 20 rib cages and 13 skulls and all kinds of femurs and lemurs and shit 
erupt out of them. I can't remember which way to go first. So let's just pick one because we know it'll be wrong. It's kind of liberating to always make the wrong choice because then you don't even have to think about it. You're like, well, maybe you make the wrong choice because you're not thinking about what choice you're making. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Ah, so young, so naive. One day when you're older and more jaded, you'll be able to accept the fact that everybody always makes the wrong decision. Try luring out. Hey, boys. Hey, Aunt boys. I got a little Debbie <laughs> moon. Oh, not a moon pie. Honey bun. In my back pocket. I hope no ants crawl over. There's like a big fucking queen ant. I didn't mean to throw that at her, but I did. And I don't care that I did. Their society is collapsing around this. She dropped all kinds of good shit. Did you know the queen was full of good shit? Killer queen. Something and something team. Dynamite with a laser beam. I've never understood what he's saying in that song. Old Freddie Mercury. I need to look that shit up. It's not really one of my favorite Queen songs, so I haven't listened to it as much. It's no Bohemian Rhapsody or Bicycle Race. Or Another One Bites Zadusta. What have we found inside this cave? Well, there's a statue of a man uh, hugging something. A man to hug and kiss, I believe is his name. Vaddy, you're welcome. <laughs> Please credit me in the video you make. So this place is full of these, like... They're like murlocs. If you don't, want to, don't know what murlocs are, they're these little fish men from World of Warcraft. And anytime you attack one, 50 other ones in the area all aggro, and they run towards you going... Wah, 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 wah. Anybody who's played vanilla World of Warcraft has just got PTSD, son. Now, we could bully them from up here, but it'll take a while. Long-term bullying. It's the most efficient way to fight them, the most responsible way, but it might not be the most satisfying for y'all, especially because I shot one directly into the floor. How many poison arrows do you take to be poisoned? Two? Three? Can they be poisoned? Are fishmen inherently immune to poison? All fishmen... Our fucking warrant fans, son. All fishmen have visited Dr. Feelgood. That was one of those songs I used to listen to as a kid. Uh, it was in my uh, dad's CD collection that he kept. And his bitchin' Camaro that he drove. And I would pop it in there and I was like, what a nice song about this doctor that helps people feel better. I believe in the goodness of the world. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, you get... A, okay, Lightning Bolt doesn't one-shot you, I see. That's a real shame. I hate to see that. But how about the Eyes of Frenzy? They're not fans of it. Not many people are. Jumping R2s. Who'd have thought? If R2-D2 could have jumped, he'd have solved half the problems in fuck Star Wars. Oop. Why do the R2 units have, like, a personality? I've never understood the droids in Star Wars. They're like people that are made to be, like... They're like the, the dinosaur appliances in the Flintstones. It's like this little robot was designed to plug into a hole in the back of a starship. Maybe even just an X-Wing. I mean, is he a universal droid? Like, why has he got sass? He can't even talk like a human language. You can infer a lot from his bleeps and bloops, but you'll never get the true nuance of it, son. I could have skeletons helping me fight you. What a waste. Skeleton boys, I need you to take care of this crowd for me. All right, they got one of you. Let's bless ourselves. Bless this mess. What if... Well, we can't become... Well, we can't become Mr. Lightning Bolt. I forgot we properly spec'd. Raiden-san spec, as they call it. 
Is anyone left that needs lightning bolt action? Ten fed gear solid. What do you think about bloody high slash? Soak in your own blood and lightning, idiots. Jumping R2s can be done with a katana. And that's a good thing. One of my laziest songs I've ever sung for y'all. Promise me that you won't enjoy it. You're like, too late. I enjoy all Ten Face songs and you can't stop me. You can't stop me from appreciating you, Ten Face. Oh, I think I can. One day you'll learn some truth about the Ten Face channel that finally drives you away. Even Peter denied Jesus three times before the cock crowed or whatever. They had Jesus in custody and Peter was out there like at the protest. And some like hot lady came up to him and was like, oh my God, are you like here to protest about Jesus and Barabbas? And Peter's like, Jesus who? Hey, hey, Zeus. Are you talking about he works down at the car wash? And then she's like, whoa, man, are you like one of Jesus' apostles, man? That's fucking cool. And Peter was like, no, oh, I don't know who you're talking about, Jesus. Sounds like a made-up name. Sounds like the name a Khajiit lady would have. Okay. Miyazaki, why do your enemies get poison? I don't. That's all I want you to do is justify it. <laughs> That's what makes it so infuriating. Is how unjustified it is. One of my skeleton boys has been permanently killed. Which means one half of my heart died that day. We have to carry on with one skeleton boy, but just like the the dogs and where the red fern grows, he'll never want to carry on without his beloved compatriot. The red fern grows, of course, being referenced in Zombies Ate My Neighbors with the level the red fern where the red fern growls. Oh, you've got a big, dumb caster hat. Okay, so this is like some sort of elevator room. Elevator action takes place here. That's real interesting. It's a real deep hole, Miyazaki. Oh. It came from above? Is this a shortcut back to the surface world? Where the daywalkers reside? Don't forget we've got Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail would have worked real good in that last fight. You've always got to keep in mind when your tail can be useful, son. Ask anyone who's an anthropomorphic animal and they'll tell you the same. They'll be like, oh yeah, having a tail, that's a huge fucking advantage. I don't know how you humans deal with it. You've got a tailbone that you can break when you're doing jackass stunts. We've got the worst part of having a tail without any of the benefit. It's one of the many reasons that humans are such a fucking garbage species. What a waste. Think of all the use that carbon and that hydrogen and oxygen could go towards other than keeping a human being alive via respiration. It's disgusting when you think about it. <laughs> The ultimate goal. That's the ultimate Tenfei Ultra. When you've become a total <laughs> human-hating misanthrope. That's when I finally succeeded. My uh, 13 year No. Yeah, 13 years. February 22nd of this year was the 13-year anniversary of OMG Hunk, if you can believe it. <laughs> Secret demoralization plan. And this loops right back around to the viscera room. Neat. So do we miss anything up on that elevated area that we should have grabbed? There's an awful lot of signs on the floor. No grace ahead. Confidence required. Etc. Okay, so this is where we fought the Ant Queen. If, I mean, if you could call that a fight. This is where we readily dispatched the Ant Queen. As a matter of fact, what happened to this poor asshole? Oh, he was giving it his all. I think he's got a wolf head. Head like a wolf. All right, back 
here. I just realized I was running my mouth so much I didn't realize if we'd have missed any potential items. Like this ledge right here. Whoop. Yeah, I don't know if you could have jumped up here from there. In fact, we could have stood up here and probably bullied that crowd with the Eyes of Frenzy. So that Celestial do is an item that lets us absolve sin at the Turtle Church. But luckily, we're such good confessor boys that we never sin. It's one of the benefits of being a devout follower of Khajiit Jesus. Now, you could run straight through here like fools. Or I think there's a secret door over here where the cool guys advance. Hell yeah. If your ankles are getting wet, you know you're one of the cool guys. Seems like the kind of place where a jackass enemy would jump out and startle me and make me afeard. Could this be good luck? Could it? If I remember this area, yeah, that thing that looks like uh, Anima from Final Fantasy X will shoot a bunch of projectiles at us whenever it notices us. And it's very good at noticing. It's everyone's senpai. That's the move Tonberries used <laughs> when they were in Japanese high school. There's a bunch of jack-offs hanging out here trying to make our lives miserable. So let's start headshotting. Pop! Pow! Oh, that wasn't a headshot. How embarrassing. Boom! Okay, that thing's shooting hate at us now. What are you casting? You nut. We'll use the piercer. The more we can whittle them down with our bow and arrow, the more FP we can save for the good times. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's going exactly how we wanted it. Unless I get hit a single time, and then it's all horse shit. Oh no, it's almost horse shit. Be wary of horse shit. Oh no, it's too late. Playthrough ruined. Visions of done. Therefore, horse ass ahead. Lightning bolt. He didn't get staggered at all by our lightning bolt boys. He's like Monkey D. Luffy when he went up against that lightning guy. Who thought he was hot shit and Luffy was like lightning. Like, you know, I'm a rubber man, right? And the guy was like, no, because I've read ahead and I know the secret spoilers. I don't follow One Piece, but I saw that there's been some recent drama due to plot revelations. All right. Girthy lightning bolts have a higher chance of one shot. So let's pray for them. I could two-hand my sword as well. The sword of the Lord. Ooh. How dare you. How dare you, sir. And a quick backstab. Try rear, and then visions of success. Well, they've got some kind of crazy bolus or something. <laughs> like ducks in a barrel. If I had the assassin's talisman that gives you HP from criticals, boys, I'd be immortal right now and get some back backstabs. Alright, do whatever the hell it is you do. I guess throw a thing at a wall. <laughs> That's your winning strategy. Alright, Eyes of Frenzy seem like a good bet. So let's just stick with them for now. Can you not be bled either? Boys, Ben Affleck's going to have a hard time fighting you. Even with the kryptonite powder. Because you don't bleed. Alright. Enough pop culture references for you kids. Let's start replenishing our HP. A little bit at a time. I guess our top priority at the moment is killing that fucking thing so we could be done with it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave y'all be until I take care of that thing. I know it's insulting. But that's how it's, it is. They like summon bubbles. They throw water ball at you like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. 
Oh, I forgot there's a merchant down here. Don't know how much foot traffic you're going to get in this place, but... Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? So he sells the prisoner starting set, including this awful <laughs> iron helmet. So, since we're in the area, we might as well buy everything he's got. We never use these things, but that doesn't mean I don't want them. That doesn't mean I don't covet them. That doesn't mean I don't long for them in the depths of my heart. Alright, we've had a brief moment to socialize and purchase some goods and sundries. I'll spare you all the usual hot fudge sundry joke that you that have been Ten Fate Ultra were already hearing inside your mind. There's a way up to that man. And I think it involves... Oh shit, fuck ass tits! Well, it involves shit, fuck, ass tits, but it also involves running up those pillars, I do believe. We missed a few items down here, so I'm glad that we doubled back around. There's some advantages to being bad at the game and backtracking, and I'm going to show them to you. Alright, let's try this again. Look at all this fucking good shit laying around all of a sudden. God, you all are lined up just right to be Eyes of Frenzy, and I feel like a waste if I didn't stop for a brief moment to obliterate you. Even those of you that have the Miyazaki's Edge. Infuriatingly so. Alright, let's get another stack of this going. And take a blue sip. That guy looks like he's going to cause me misery and woe later. Miyazaki's Edge meat throwing dagger. Every time. Works like a charm. Alright. He's launching purple hate stones. And I hate purple hate stones, ironically enough. Alright, we want to be back up there. Can you not get back up there once you drop down? Oh, we found a cool golden centipede. Neat. Okay, I guess we need to backtrack a little bit. <laughs> You're like, isn't that what you've been doing for the last 20 minutes? Like, yes, but it's a legitimate strategy. Like camping. In CS office. Son hanging out with the hostages in the projector room. Oh shit, fuck, that's this goddamn bullshit. Okay. So this is where that doorway would have led us if we actually went this way. So we are going to loop back around. I loop back around and then I get up again. Because you're never going to keep me down. Alright. This time we're going to do things different. Don't throw a water ball at me. Please. How will I ever cope? Oh no. Oh shit. You were just a distraction. All right, here we go. This is what we want. Let's get this in between us and him so we can have a moment of respite. Just a respite him, son. How did you do it, buddy? Did you ask him a question when you got up there? Or did you just run off the side? He jumped with hope in his heart. Van Halen, guide that man to, to the truth. Even though it's dangerous, I want to grab this item. Oh no, we missed one of them plants down there. I can get it later. My God. Not since Breath of the Wild have I wanted so many random things in the environment. Oh God, that's not enough to block him. Getting closer. Yet closer. I believe if we crouch... Yeah, I believe that's what this sign is going to tell us. If we crouch right here. Ranged battle. That thing probably can't be poisoned. I'm going to guess... So let's be Mr. Lightning Bolt and just go aboard him. Maybe he doesn't do any dangerous melee attacks. It's our only hope. A bit of neck meat so we can go full neck bones on him, boys. Hey, dipshit, look who got near you. Do you ever come down here where you can be hit? I bet the bloody slash will get you. Yeah, hell yeah, boys. 
Oh, he's mad. Doesn't matter. Even angry people can be bloody high stashed. Soak in your own blood. All right, he's going to do one last one of those. We're going to bob and weave and bob and weave. And then shisha. Excuse me, sir. I said shisha. Great justice. Great culture. All right, hopefully he doesn't respawn. I don't remember if he does. We'll just hope that he doesn't. If we keep hope in our heart, nothing bad can happen, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, you got me so good. Is this room just to hide from that <laughs> enemy? There's like no items in here. What a fun room to be in. Okay. Try jumping. I will. Whoop. Try dying. Alright, so we need to actually go over here. To continue on our merry way. A side of grace for me. You shouldn't have had to, son. Talk about spoiled, son. I don't deserve it. To be given such a luscious boon. Alright, I think our spell layout's pretty good. We keep forgetting about most of them. <laughs> As you will. That's how you know you're a powerful mage when you're just forgetting magic that you have. And have had the whole time. I feel like the mic's too far. Hold on. There. Do I sound more robust and rich now? We're going to turn this into Tenfei ASMR. Alright, now we're going to be splashing around in some ankle deep water. Maybe throwing some lightning bolts at ants. Doesn't work because I don't have those microphones that look like ears. They always make me think of... Uh, there was a Tiny Toons where Plucky Duck was basically Duck Tracy. From the old Daffy Duck cartoon. And one of the villains was like this hillbilly looking guy. With a long ass Rip Van Winkle beard. Who like knew where you were ticklish. And that was how his great strength, his great power. And he told Plucky that he was ticklish in his ears. And Plucky's like, well, I'm a duck. I don't really have ears. So he puts like these novelty big human ears on like a headband on him. And spoilers, it's he's ticklish. Who knew? It was an important life lesson I learned from Tiny Toons Adventures. It wasn't until Animaniacs that those lessons were solidified, son. They are zany to the max, after all. I feel like there's bad intentions in here. See, this ghost man told me. You've got like a big cog for a shield. <gasps> Resin? Nope, a formic rock. Well, that's one of them gangled-eyed basilisk from the Soulsborne series. Featuring big-eyed basilisk from the Dark Souls series. And then there's an asterisk next to that and underneath it says, Those aren't actually his eyes, my god. There's no reason to leave a YouTube comment. Just read Vaddy's six novelist series about big basilisk eyes. Let me guess, there's one right around the corner. He's getting swy handered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pop! His asshole must be fake, too. Or at least I hope it is for how badly I just destroyed it. Okay. This area looks real pleasant. What do you got to say? Jumping, oh, jumping. I don't think I want to be wherever this is. I feel like this is the kind of shit... The character in an H.P. Lovecraft story who found a, like a tunnel under their house would come across. This is some Eternal Darkness shit. That's actually the plot to Eternal Darkness. You play as that guy in like colonial times running around his house dual wielding muskets and <laughs> sabers. Like he's a, a 1776 Dante. And he finds like the Eldritch City under his house. And he's like, well, I can't go down there and kill all them monsters with my muskets. I'll go recruit some town folk to help me. And spoilers, they throw him into like a sanitarium. Joke's on them, though, because the rats are coming and they're hungry for eyeballs. Just saying.
I'd say we've been having a fairly good time down here in the ant tunnel. That I wasn't even intending on doing, but since we were in the neighborhood, there was really no reason not to. Be wary of up. There's so many Pixar purists here. Okay. I've been about as wary as I can be, to tell you the truth. I mean, I guess I could stand to be my bit warier, but y'all aren't giving me much to work with. A melted mushroom. Well, tell me, why does it melt? A mushroom that grows in the false night. Craft an eye. It drips with a viscous fluid that behaves much like oil. I see. It sounds like a real lovely thing to have on your hands and clothes. Oh, God. The thought of it gave me glottal air. Well, there ain't nary an ant in here. Let me guess, liar ahead. Offer friendship. Wicked sort. Uh, never mind. <laughs> it didn't quite take the narrative flow that I thought it would. Time for dragon, son. Now you're speaking my fucking language, boys. I'm like Peter's neighbor in <laughs> office space. I'm like, Peter, turn it to channel eight. They're doing the dragon breast exams. Oh, there's like a big fucking boss in here. A big boss of sorts. How are we going to tackle this thing? I think this thing uses magic of some sort. I don't know for sure. So instead of equipping that thing, we're going to equip these. And if it gets real dicey, I can just eat one. We're not going to need those during the boss fight. And we're going to summon... The skeleton boys will probably get taken out by AoE. So we're going to call in our boy Oleg... Das Oleg, as he likes to be called on the forums. I guess we're going to go Mr. Lightning Bolt Strats. We're not going to shoot him with a bow. So we might as well be properly min maxing. Take a bite of this. Can't cast that on this Y hander, dumbass. Cast this shit. Sip a blue. And get to it. Big man in a chair, huh? Think you're hot shit, do you? It doesn't matter because you're not the boss fight spoilers. I guess we can go get our boy in here. just want to cast this regenerative miracle on my good friend here and you won't let me <laughs> and I'm not going to call it cheating but it's not fun I'll tell you that much my boy look at how he slowly defeated HP at one point that's that spell boosh oh I've run out of it why don't you am I a fucking healer in an MMO <laughs> you're just aggravating the life out of me okay he's dead god bless him I guess we should start fighting serious. By that I mean bitching and moaning seriously. But seriously, look at this fucking nonsense. Mr. Lightning Bolt. Oh, I need a sip of the blue, excuse me. How embarrassing. Okay, luckily we weren't anywhere near him when he did that shit. The whole ground is electricity. Metal Gear Solid. Why wasn't Gray Fox here to warn me about this shit? Okay. So we should have equipped the lightning resist uh, amulet probably, but it'll be alright. We'll get there, son. The bigger the boss is, the more easily they can just jump all over the map whenever the fuck they want. Just saying. I'm <laughs> just pointing out what everyone's thinking, Miyazaki. It's not bitching and moaning if there's group consensus. Bloody high slash. No, never mind. 
you tried to do something in a Miyazaki modern uh, Souls game, it's like you have to be punished. A couple more of those should humble him if he ever lands. Look at all this shit we're having to go through to hit him just a couple more fucking times. Tedious. That's the, the what I would say. It's not necessarily difficult. It's just fucking tedious. Don't tell Tommy I said that. The Miyazaki Defense Force. He'll rush in here with all kinds of ch pie charts and line graphs <laughs> that all lead to the inevitable conclusion that I'm just bad at the game. All right, what is our reward for going through that fun and engaging boss fight, Miyazaki? Let's find out. The good shit, mayhaps? Could it be that I am worthy of the good shit? That's probably... That's probably the item that maxes out a summon ash. I'm going to assume. It's the Titanite slab of summon ashes. So it's probably a good thing. Can we warp out of this damn place? We can. So I don't mind setting that disgrace. Alright, well get me back to the surface world. I just realized I picked the side of grace that puts us at that tunnel where we found the bellberry. Yeah, that's not really where we wanted to be. What do we want to do next? <laughs> well, I didn't intend to be down there. But that's somehow where we ended up. We could do this damn building. Full of magic fun times. Or we could go over here like we were originally intending to do. So many choices when you're randomly meandering. So much potential for the good times. Alright. I'm actually just going to run towards my marker. I should probably go upgrade this damn Uchikatana if I'm going to be using it so much in boss fights. The next side of grace I find, I'm going to go back to the round table hold and see what kind of upgrading we can get done. Queue up the StarCraft 2 announcer to tell us upgrade complete. So these guys sat around in their cool horns, but some of them are asshole archers. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. And we'll shoot homing magic arrows at you. And it's not fun. I'm just letting you all get... Yep, yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I was letting you all get prepared for the bitching and moaning. Because you knew it was coming. Alright, there's a side of grace around here somewhere. If I could stop being tormented for two seconds. Oh, the good times are finally here. I'm getting shot in the rear. Oh, he's dead. Okay, let's go over here where your friend can't 360 no-scope me 20 hours a day. Look at all these giant glowing arrows sticking out of me. Oh, I thought I could cross-counter, but something happened. Does. I think I got hit with a... F yeah. It doesn't matter where you are. Magic arrows can find you. Someday, magic arrows will find you. And break those chains that bind you. He's over there. We're getting towards him. Slowly but surely, we're getting towards him. Uh, how long do these things hang out in my uh, model, by the way, Miyazaki? Just wondering. Just a <laughs> quick question. I don't think I'm demanding too many answers. That one came from the other side of me somehow. There was big old fat magic arrows. Little skinny magic arrows. Magic arrows that came from the side. That man has been desperately trying to hit us. And all I want to do is come over here and murder his friends. Why won't bleed take effect? There. Okay, okay. Oh, I forgot I unequipped my bow. When I went to fight that boss. 
Humbled, but not killed. Man, if you crowd can't drag this shit out with your tedious fucking mess. Okay. That was his advanced strat, was the fall down there. Good, he didn't drop anything. <laughs> that means I don't have to care about him. Okay, there's the side of Grace with a stern man's face next to it. Staring at us, wondering how we could possibly be getting mad at video games. It just doesn't even make sense to him, son. A round table hold for me, please. Okay. All right. Upgrades. Let's upgrade our Greetings. bow lady so we're more inclined to actually use her. Boosh. So we can get Night Oleg to the next rank. We definitely want to. I don't know how much we're going to use her. So we can actually get the Skeleton Boys to the next level. That's a good thing. And we wanted to upgrade the Demi-Humans as well. In case we feel like summoning the Lads. Lad summoning strats, as they're known as. I know, I wasn't in your line of sight for two seconds. And like a dog with separation anxiety, you just assume I'm gone forever. Okay. So, we can go ahead and get this to plus six. Boom. Yeah, we might as well get them both to plus eight. There we go. Yeah, we need to go find the damn thing that scales uh, or lets us buy stones three and four. I wonder if it's in an area we can easily get to. Should we use our cyber smithing stone three to go ahead and take our talisman to the next level? I don't know if I'm going to always be using this talisman because I might uh, respec at some point in the future when we gain that ability. Oh, we're going to buy some more of these uh, shortly. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Oh, we actually have a four. Well, hell yeah. Make my dragon magic. I'm not even using any dragon magic. It's just this thing scales so good because we have so much arcane to go with our faith. Pure faith boys don't know anything about it. George Michael has no idea this thing even exists. He doesn't even know there are other stats in the game. God bless him. Okay, is there anything we need to replenish our stores on? It doesn't look like it. Don't need any of these weapons or any of this uh, multiplayer nonsense. I think we're good to get back into the fray. So, yeah, right here. Right, those archers have respawned, but hopefully we can just ignore them. As is our want. Alright, it's one of these damn things. That's actually moving. So this one's just got the classic uh, magic crust on its feet that we need to get rid of. Don't let him stomp you! hung in a tiny tree. My greatest weakness was the smallest tree. How? There we go. No, I missed like two or three. You only have the knock, but oh god, don't get killed, don't get killed, don't get killed. Hard to tell where his feet are going to land when you're panicking and ride around on your horse. I guess that's why I, I switched to the katana because it'd be faster, but it looks like the Swihander was the, the way to go all along. Hans and Franz knew. They've never once equipped the katana sword in a Souls game, and they never will. The moment they did, they would just turn to dust. All 
right, well, that thing's humbled, so we ain't got to worry about it stomping around and making a bunch of aggravating noise anymore. It's the main reason to take those things down is because you're tired of listening to them. I think everything is an enemy when it enters my line of sight. And the sad thing is I'm usually not wrong. And a side of grace is our reward. Additional big stompy monstrosity in rear. How many of these things y'all pack in one little area? Need to diversify. You're gonna franchise out your big walking monolith monstrosity, son. You got to look at you know the market share and Pick an optical location. If we ever actually want to duplicate boss souls, son, we'll have our, our choice. We'll be spoiled for choice. I want to know what this person wrote. It's very important. S -s Sound. Okay. We're getting so much accomplished other than advancing the game. We're headed towards that minor Erd tree in the distance. What is all this crowd over here talking about? Okay. Sure, I'll hit it once just for you. The guy that wrote that message is watching this Tenfei episode, son, and he's it was all worth it. Everything he gave up. There's a bunch of those horn dudes standing here doing some kind of cool stomp ritual. Hoping we could ignore them. Because there is another side of grace right up here. I don't know if I've used any blue flask. I don't believe I have. But I have a Pavlovian response to obliterate those things. Okay, there's not. But we can go ahead and start picking these boys off one at a time. Probably help if we re our bow. Perfect for picking off them boys. I guess we're just going to use Night Oleg. So, let's poison the boys. As they say, bring all your boys in. Here comes the poison. Alright, he's finally poisoned. <laughs> just as he got to me. The poison cleaner. So there's one of those Erd Tree Guardians over there. We definitely want these guys to be dealt with before we engage it. Lest we have to deal with some Dark Souls 2 nonsense. Of having a bunch of ads during the boss fight. So they're trying to sell you Geico insurance during the boss fight. I find three... Weapon arted poison arrows and then one regular arrow shot is just enough to take these boys down. It's probably not even necessary to do all that, but it is satisfying. Well, ain't you just got the best hitbox of all time? This is how Miyazaki wants you to play the game. Don't blame me. All right, cool. Lightning bolt action indeed. I'm going to preemptively bless you. You're a mess, and I'm here to bless this mess, as they say. All right, let's take him down. Lightning bolt action, son. I guess we could open up with a fully charged Eyes of Frenzy. Just to show him we mean business. I knew I was going to get hit there, and I, I don't regret it in my actions. I was not wrong. All right, you're going to summon them fucking holy... No, okay, he doesn't summon the holy lasers unless he jabs that staff into the ground. His ass does not summon lasers, unfortunately. Humbled! That boy's been humbled! Smack! Bloody high slash! Soak in your own blood. Shit, Lord. Damn, it feels good to be the hero. <laughs> Lots of good materia for my flask of physics as well. 
God, now that's a boss fight. You can always tell when it's a good boss fight. If I don't have to take a sip, that means it was properly balanced. I can't remember if there's any items laying around this thing that we would want to have. Other than your usual mushrooms and shit. Probably not. Well, anyway, the shortcut. So if you remember, the Village of Frenzy is right here. And we were trying to take the regular path up here, which means the Tower of Frenzy, which is this right here, gets plenty of opportunity to look at you with its big Sauron eye and drive you insane. But if you come down here, there's an un, what I assume to be an unintended parkour shortcut. You just got to steer this horse correctly. Tell you what, let's re-equip our bar with our lantern. If I could remember what the lantern looked like. There it is. And for just this moment, the telescope for horse targeting purposes. Because this horse likes to lose his fucking mind. Like that. I know you're the size of a small car. And you've only got four legs. But can't you be a little bit more graceful, buddy? Alright, we want to get to this next level. The next dimension. Hopefully Saiyan Saga, Vegeta, and Nappa will show up to send us to the next dimension. Okay, now if we look through this, we can spin our horse without him losing his fucking mind and line him up with that. And then boosh, boosh. And just like that, we're now in Madness Town. And the Tower of Frenzy can be gotten to slightly easier. I know. Don't let him get a good eye full of you, son. Don't let him lay that frenzy eye all over you, eating you up, devouring you with his frenzy gaze, boys. All right, so it'll go away after a second. And now that we're here, we're a little bit safer, although there are rats. Always rats. Still more ratting. Bloody high slash! Oh no, I got madnessed by the rat bites. I forgot that crazy rats have crazy bites. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. The game isn't bloodborne, we're not mad. <laughs> we can calm down. Bloody high slash! Soak in your own blood! God, the fucking katana sword. <laughs> You're basically forced to use it. Right, I'm gonna get blessed for being the mess I am. And we're gonna go up there and uh, talk to this crowd. I just wanna have a few words with y'all. I'm not mad. I'm just blindly furious. I guess we'll stop and grab this cool item. Howl of Shibiri. I'll show you all that here in a minute when we're not dealing with this shit. So when you get up here, you realize there's a bunch of assholes like summoning that eye over and over. So you gotta time it just right that you can get up there and kill them all. Before they summon it again. And I'm thinking a little dragon tail. That's what this guy... These guys are all mad because they're not getting any dragon tail, son. They're on 4chan bitching about it. Well, here I am to bring it, boys! And there you go. Justice. Dragon tail justice. Well, look at that neat item that I'm never going to equip. I'll probably equip it at some point. Try throwing and then fire. He's probably trying to tell us we could hit them through the floor. But I'm too honorable for that. I bring honorable dragon tail with me. Alright, let's get our potential summons down here. Where are the boys? There they are. Alright, well now that that nonsense is taken care of, we can wander into Madness Town. And try to restore order. Hey, everybody. How's things going in Madness Town? You kind of look like you're having a real good fucking time. Alright, let's get blessed. Come on, let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get blessed. Be me if I was a Christian rock band that just covered uh, Def Leppard songs. Poor 
pour some Jesus' blood. Pour some blood of the lamb on me. Doesn't quite flow as well, I realize. So these guys are all crazy and can shoot the eyes of frenzy at us. We're getting a taste of our own medicine, son. That rich, alluring flavor that just can't be ignored. It'll drive you crazy. It's like the crazy bread at Little Caesar's, son. They named it correctly because that bread will drive you absolutely fucking crazy. Just thinking about it right now, I'm starting to get a little twinge. God, the nearest Little Caesars is in Half-Lock, too. Oh no, these are Knights. Eye of Frenzy Knights, are you? I'm a little bit of an Eye of Frenzy man myself. Got there just in time for my friend. Well, God, we're going to have an eye off. Seems like my eyes were bigger. Seems I had a big plate of spaghetti in front of me, and it made my eyes big. Is that not an expression where y'all live? I think it comes, its origin is saying your eyes were bigger than your stomach. Shabiri's woe. Constantly attracts enemy aggression. So if you wanted to tank in like multiplayer, or I guess if you wanted to summon like the lady with the bow and not have the enemy just go over and kill her, you could equip that so they ignore her and she's just a constant source of damage. Maybe we'll try it during a boss fight. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. Yeah, have you noticed this rat with crazy eyes following me, son? That's like when you're down at the pub and you see a cute Clarin girl at the end of the bar, but then she looks up and gives you crazy eyes. Boys, you got a decision to make. They say to never perform a particular activity on crazy, but on the other hand, cute Clarin girl. If a Clarin dancer is down at the end of the bar making crazy eyes at me, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I might, my good judgment might be overwhelmed for just a brief moment. Sheep combat. Such justice was proven that day. Okay, what do you got to say? That's so fucking important that you're a ghost. Uh, I guess their boss, who proclaimed to have the craziest eyes of all, ended up not being all that crazy. You hate to see it. I noticed that big rat from a distance. Well, you're just quick! Big rat the quick. And you can jump! Who knew rats were so good at jumping? A little facetious tenfei humor for y'all. In case any multi-dimensional rat ladies are once again watching this tenfei playthrough. Give them another reason to dislike the video. I've already been talking about making eyes at random Clarin women, son. Oh lord. And also have mercy. So these are our good friends, the fart plants. But these are the rare crazy eyes fart plant because they'll their farts cause frenzy, I believe. Frenzy fart, yeah. Oh no! Trapped in the frenzy farts. I wandered into the bad part of deviant art again. You don't seem real impressed by the eyes. I guess they're already frenzied, so the eyes of frenzy doesn't do a lot to them. Okay, we're gonna try two-handed Zweihander strats. Well, we got him into humbled status. And as always, because we were in an animation, we couldn't hit him in time. Oh, I'm uh, fucking crazy. Excuse me, your farts have driven me crazy and I need to go home. <laughs> Take a hot shower. One of them fart cleansing showers. Alright, we're going to do what we should have been doing the whole time. Just throw lightning bolts at it. It's my own damn fault. I knew that thing let out frenzy farts and I still ran over there and buried my face in it. I have no one to blame but myself. All right, there's a hundred of them fucking flowers around here. I don't really feel like fighting all of them. So let's ignore the rest. It's what a true hero would do. Now keep in mind, if they notice us, they can still summon Holy Hell. So if you notice Holy Hell appearing around you, duck and cover. like kind of place where you'd hide a cool item Miyazaki what you got to say K 
chaos. I see. The little jester man from Deltarune left that. Oh, here's one of those graveyards full of golden runes. I don't really need a lot of runes these days since I discovered farm bird. So we're not going to worry about them. Is there really not like an item or something of value over here? It really is just a bunch of fart plants. I'm sure that's a reward to some people, but not the good folk of the Tenfei channel. Beavis and Butthead, though, having the best fucking time. Okay. Now there is something over here, I recall. If we can make it down to this. Huh. Can't have enough stone sword keys. There's a scarab around here that has an item we want as well, but I don't quite remember where it is. So in the meantime, we're going to bully rats. Yes, sir. I can't. I thought for a second that might kill me. And he would be the last rat survivor. To tell the tale of that time, Zeus Chan rained down holy hell on him and his friends and then jumped to his death. First off, <laughs> rat. And then, uh, fruit. Jeff Goldblum left that message. Pack ahead. Not as good as, uh, first off, rat. All right, so we're actually above where we fought that Erd Tree boss earlier. Son, we wrapped around. It's just like Dark Souls 1 when you find that elevator from the parish back to Firelink Shrine. Yes, sir. So how y'all been doing? You been enjoying the playthrough? I hope my bitching and moaning hasn't soured you on it. There are some genuine frustrating things going on, but I'd say overall I'm having a good time. Definitely sharing a few laughs. Where is that damn scarab? I'd hate to have to bring up the interactive map. Now that guy's just having him a good time in the corner. Who might interrupt? Have we investigated all of the town yet? Getting a lot of Eye of Yellow. <laughs> Is that how that's pronounced? We can just jump up on the rooftop, son. I don't know if there's any advantage to it, but it's fun. Just ask any Dragoon lady. It's actually canon. Because <laughs> after the festival, the hunt... They show some little scenes in Final Fantasy IX and what everyone's getting up to. And Frey, they cut to Freya and she's just jumping from rooftop to rooftop. Why would you walk down amongst the crowd and have to deal with that nonsense when you're a cool rat lady with powerful legs that can propel you onto the rooftop, son? Boy, 16-year-old me playing that game when it first came out never stood a chance. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm listening for the glistening of the dung beetle. It's got to be around here somewhere. Is there anything cool on this wall? Other than the memories we made jumping around it. Nope. Let's see what this gentleman had to say to us. <laughs> well done. Thank you, cows from Earthworm Gym 2's level transition screens. You always know how to make me feel just right. Although I do miss hearing Jim say groovy in between each level. Alright. As soon as I find this damn thing, we can end the episode. It's like finding the snitch in Quidditch. <laughs> the episode can't end until I find that damn scared beetle. 
Those of you that know exactly where it is are probably so frustrated. Oh no, I must have entered a bad time zone because it kicked me off a torrent. Son, my ISP called. <laughs> it told me to stop torrenting. Festering fingerprint Vike. I mean, I like the alliteration, I guess, but... Mr. Lightning Bolt says we're going to have fun with this thing. To quote Wolf O'Donnell, whenever he gets <laughs> a clear look at Fox McCloud's ass, we're going to have fun with this thing. Okay, everyone thinks you're cool because you your attacks are allowed to hit me and I'm not allowed to hit you. Cheating, etc. That's the scream of Shabiri, by the way. Let's just kill this motherfucker with Dragon Tail, even though he doesn't deserve it. Schwa, schwa. My Dragon Tail beats your eye of frenzy, dumb shit. What do you think about Bloody High Slash? I forgot the dumb name I made up for it. Bloody High Slash! Soak in your own blood, jackass. Yep, can't sip when I'm around. Mr. Lightning Bolt says no sipping indeed. Except for me. Sips for me and not for thee. We got a cool spear. Let's look at it. Oh, it's got Faith Skelly. It's got Flame of Frenzy in it. Hell yeah! We might have just found a new weapon foo, son. Cut to that meme <laughs> of the guy looking over his shoulder at the other girl while his girlfriend is incredulous. But it's the uh, blessed Zweihander that's incredulous and the guy's looking at his cool new spear. What say you? Finger Maiden set, huh? That looks like it breathes real good. And I can upgrade my flasks. Upgrade ye flask. Let's see. And charge. Not that I see. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, uh, we're having fun and everything, but scare beetles, please. I found it so easily on my other character. I just didn't remember where I found it. All right. I've run y'all through enough. I'm going to do the shameful thing and bring up the Elden Ring interactive map. Let's see spells. Scroll up to here. What am I fucking looking at? Okay, there we go. There we go. South of the Church of Inhibition. Son. I don't know that, how that stacks up to Khajiit Jesus' church, but feels like we might have a lot of similar ideals. The Church of Inhibition is this building right here. Okay. So it said it was south. So let's keep our eyes, ears, nose, and tails poised. Big rats in the area. Hold on. Bring up my map again. So apparently it's supposed to be somewhere thereabouts there. Is that it? It looks like one of those ones that restores mana flasks. But we should kill it for completion's sake, if nothing else. Just so we know the truth that we fucked up. Yeah, that was a get ye mana flask. Scarab. That's where we fell down and bullied some rats, I believe. Yeah. We didn't already pick it up, did we? And I just weren't paying attention. Look at my spells. Nah, it would be here amongst the madness spells, the frenzy spells. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was hearing one of them scares, but it was just holy hell being summoned. Hmm. Maybe it... The interactive map says it's supposed to be, like, around here. The inter interactive map couldn't be wrong, could it? Is such a thing possible? Would somebody do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Oh god, we've ended up back in the frenzy fart veil. The flatulence of frenzy. That's what I'm going to have to put as the description of this episode. <laughs> and all of us 
are going to be brought down a little bit by it. It's like when Beale was telling Ellie Driver why she couldn't just poison the bride in her coma sleep, son. This thing would lower us. Hmm. Get real frustrated. Don't understand why it's gotta be like this. These sheep that are slightly illuminated keep throwing me off. Lord, help me. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's... They claim that it's right there. Like, right here. Am I just making it despawn with my presence? Here, let's reload the area. <laughs> this episode's never gonna end. The good times in there. I imagine you're in your bed right now, listening to Ten Fei. Try st fighting off sleep as hard as you can, hoping that the episode will end. You're like, I got work in the morning, man. It's three thirty. I'm here watching Ten Fei try to find items. Boys, I made some four fucking choices <laughs> leading up to this point. All right, there's that ghost with the most, as he's known. Right around here. Mm. I'm just gonna throw lightning at him when we see him. So let's have that ready. Yeah, I know about that. Oh, look who decided to appear. No, that rat jumped in front of him, boys, from Hell's Heart. The rats are doing everything they can. If Miyazaki chose the thing I love most <laughs> and used it to defeat me. There it is, finally, the fucking frenzied burst. You're all going to have to wait till next episode before I show you what it does. Because I told you, once I find that thing, the episode ends. So here we are. Some the good times eventually have to finally end. 